Hey Royal Family, welcome to my General Hospital Daytime Drama Channel. I am your hostess, the Daytime Drama Queen. Today I want to discuss something that has been eating away at the Queen, and that is, did Trina make a huge mistake? I will be discussing this in the GH Let's Chat About That segment. Now, let's get started. Poor Trina Robinson continues to have terrible luck when it comes to making the decisions regarding Esme Prince. Esme has despised Trina and her friends from the jump, and we now know that she never cared for Spencer either. She was just playing him to accomplish her father's Ryan's goals, which was revenge. Esme is clearly faking her amnesia. What she does have is a condition called cover my aitis. She darn well knows that she will be sent to Darkham to serve time right beside her cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs crazy mama Heather Weber. Both of her parents are USDA bona fide certified foods. And you know the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. The other third of this wacky trio was Ryan. He is now dead and buried somewhere pushing up crazy daisies. If Curtis Ashford thought that he could carry the schizophrenic trait from just one parent, Marshall, and both of Esme's parents were psychotic serial killers. So you know that Esme has some of the psychotic traits. All one has to do is look at her past since her short time she's been in Port Charles. Let's analyze it. Y'all think about this. She sabotaged Ava's car and left Ava's dead daughter Kiki's badge beside the car. She locked a pregnant Sasha Gilmore in the room at the art gallery, thinking that it was Trina. Sasha later lost the baby. On a weekend getaway with Spencer, Cam, and Trina, Esme spiked Trina's drink with a drug, which could have killed her. I made hot toddies for everyone. Oh, I'll get that. Oh, no, I've got it. Keep uh, talking amongst yourselves. You know, I was thinking about trying some snowboarding tomorrow. What do you think, Josh? Sure, I'm down. Um, Trina and I have gone snowboarding a couple of times. It's actually safer than skiing. Oh, well, maybe I'll give it a try. I'm mm, crossing over to the dark side. You know, Spencer, I'm starting to think that you flunked skiing 101 at your fancy boarding school. <laughs> Also on the same trip, Esme filmed the infamous sex tape of Joss and Cam. Esme released the video in full view of the PCU staff and the students. She later framed Trina for it. Trina was charged, tried, and found not guilty. Esme even testified against Trina for the prosecution. Esme also drugged the bartender Oz Haggerty with the intent to kill him so he wouldn't reveal the fact that he sold the burner phone to her, which was used to record Joss and Cam. 
Esme also lied to Spencer that she was pregnant with his child. She wasn't. She wanted to trap Spencer into marrying her. Esme also slept with Spencer's father, Nicholas, and Ava's husband. She confronted Ava and taunted her that she and Nicholas had something going on. Y'all remember when Nicholas held Esme captive at Windermere? They were all, she would often talk to her belly and the baby inside and call the baby Ace. How is it that she remembered the name Ace before the baby was born? She ain't got no amnesia. Trina has made a huge mistake by suggesting that the charges be dropped against Esme. Trina wanted to help her boo Spencer gain custody of his baby brother. More importantly, Trina wanted the charges dropped to ensure that if Esme slipped up again, that double jeopardy could not be raised. And Esme would then be in the clear. Trina was not thinking clear when she made the decision. She had been under extreme pressure since her mother's Portia secret came out. And now she regrets the decision, seeing that Esme and the baby have moved into an apartment with Laura and Spencer. Esme could have easily moved into her own place. Laura and Spencer would have backed her financially. The queen thinks Esme's intentions are to keep Spencer and Trina apart. She still hates Trina. Y'all remember the other day when Trina came over and Trina and Spencer stepped outside into the hallway? Hmm? Esme became jealous. She said to herself, I wonder what is keeping Spencer. She went looking for Spencer, who was just in the hallway, she opened the door and caught Spencer and Trina about to lock lips. Esme is doing the same kind of blocking that she's done in the past. Spencer was just seeing Trina out. Lastly, why is everyone believing Esme when she says that the baby is Nicholas's? No one took a paternity test and Laura is just as worse. She believes everything Esme says she even left Esme along with Ace and even gave her cash to prove to her that she trusts her. And what did Esme do? Esme decided to make a run for it with Ace. As she opened the door to leave, Cameron caught her and asked her, Going somewhere? The queen had to get this off her chest. Y'all send me your thoughts, comments, and theories, and we will discuss on an upcoming edition of the Daytime Drama Queen. Until then, ta-ta!